It all began with a bullet. Not so. It began with a prayer. No, no, no. It all began with a dream. It has never been easy for Jesuits to agree on something, even when it comes to who we are. so many things, and half of them seem to contradict the other half. We help the poor and work with the rich. We trust in God, but don't fear to use powerful means. We value humility, but seek excellence in all we do. From the very beginning, we have tried to do something new, with no script to follow, no tested formula to rely on. We are dancers on a tightrope. Ours is a story of leaps and falls, hopes and failures. Try again. Um, the dichotomy, Achilles and the tortoise, The arrow. Thank you. Um, Rewind in the vows, Pete. Although we'll have to endure his endless self-congratulatory bombast, so I suppose that nothing is really free, but... Uh, not again. Hello, Francis. Your Holiness. Continue, please. The dichotomy, the Achilles, the arrow. Where are my boots? Um. In you go. The arrow. The arrow. It's gone out of my head. Okay, half the time is equal to twice the time. Half the time is equal to twice the time. Any time spent with Grandpa Loyola here is equal to half an eternity. You're familiar with Zeno's paradoxes, Francis? <laughs> is it his complete and utter lack of humor that you find so attractive? You're being rude. His age? Advanced. His fame? Negligible. And his illustrious battle wound earned while fighting on the wrong That's side of the war. That's enough. Every side was the wrong side. Oh, no, my gimpy friend. My family served nobly for a noble cause. Yours made a business decision. And look what it got them. The House of Loyola, begging on the streets of Paris. <laughs> my God. Look at you, the way you're dressed. Have you no pride? Now, where in the bleeding hell are my boots? You'll have to forgive Francis. He's beguiled by appearances. 
Aha. You know, it wouldn't hurt for you to come to Laval's tonight. It might do your career some good. And he's overly ambitious. And I disagree with your diagnosis, Peter. Master Francis isn't overly ambitious. You see? Master Francis... <sighs> ...isn't ambitious enough. If Jesuits are God's bullets, Xavier was a cannonball aimed east. When he left for India, he felt an urgency to evangelize the whole of Asia within a few years. His dream never came true, and he died within eyeshot of China, yet unable to reach it. Five hundred years later, new generations of Jesuits carry on the same spirit, mindful of the cultures in which they work. Christian faith and Eastern culture come together and enrich one another. The inculturation of the gospel has always been a delicate but vital matter for Christianity. The Society of Jesus has struggled with a balance for centuries, at times pushing the church too far, at times holding back too hard. traditionally Catholic Europe, Jesuits have had to accept the challenge imposed by a quickly changing culture. been accused of being too strict and too lax, too rich and too poor, too liberal and too conservative. We risk falling on either side of the tightrope, and there is only one safety net we can rely on. Tell him. You don't know your own good. Show me. It's nothing. And why are you even hiding it from me? Give me your knife. Ah! Still.
You think you can earn Christ's love by mutilating your body? No. Then how? There is no earning, no buying, no barter, no trade. It's a gift. But I'm not worthy of... A gift, you stubborn lummox. Your only job for the next week, for the rest of your life, is to accept it. Great deeds require great energy and sometimes come with a dose of ambition and pride. But not all Jesuits are bullet-like when it comes to action. Their strength is less tangible, flowing from their own experience of God's consoling presence. Such was Pierre Favor, who became expert in leading others through the spiritual exercises. Without looking down on other spiritual traditions, many Jesuits, like Favor, have become masters of prayer and spiritual companions for people seeking God. Even Jesuit education flows from this care for the individual and concern for personal growth leading to a change of heart. Finding God in all things means that every academic field offers the hope for encountering the divine. Educating future leaders has always been a priority for the society. Jesuit schools operate in a world marked by glaring injustice. As educators, we have a chance to show students that being leaders according to the gospel means being called to serve, not to be served. When the first companions spoke of helping souls, they thought of working for the dignity of forgotten men and women across the world. Today's struggle for justice requires that we see the ministry of the consoling Christ with eyes open to the causes of suffering and that we take our place at the side of the poor. Taking the gospel seriously can lead us to share Christ's cross. It can even lead us to the loss of life. The greatest threat to us, however, is forgetting where we have come from and who has called us. If prayer is the safety net under our tightrope, we can be tempted to enjoy its security too much. 
Our mission compels us to return to the rope. Stay off the high roads when you can. There's talk of war. Well, when isn't there talk of war? You're going with him? Of course. You can't very well walk to Spain by yourself. You're joking. You go with the others to Venice. We meet in the spring. Wait a minute. You've been sick. I'm fine. But I'm not. Not yet. It's too soon. You're ready. No. I'm not ready. I've barely got to my feet. Now you're kicking them out from under me? Francis. Francis. Close your eyes. Do it. <sighs> bow your head. Look, listen, I, I, what, I don't need a, a blessing right now. What I really Close need... Close your eyes and bow your head. <sighs> now take a deep breath. Open your eyes. What do you see? My feet. Still there? No one's kicked them out from under you? <laughs> no, they're still there. Very good. Use them. Hmm? You will lead the man to Venice. What? It's a long trip. The group needs a leader. Not me. Just make sure you get through the passes before the first snow. Well, La Inez, he's a leader, or Alfonso, he's been all over. Pete. Just do what he says. Trust me, it's easier. I think that's it. Everything's going to be different now, isn't it? When you get to Venice, you'll understand why I chose you to lead them. Watch the arm. <laughs> 